Hi everyone, it's Annie Pennington with Potter USA. Today I'm going to show you how to use our new steel pattern plates. These are designed for use in a rolling mill, but I've figured out a way how to make them work in a hydraulic press. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What you need is one of our plates, a piece of annealed metal. This is probably 18 or 20 gauge copper. You need a small piece of urethane and some painter's tape. Now you might think that you'd be able to put your metal on here and then plop down a big urethane puck on top of it, press it and get the impression. But that distributes the pressure in too wide of an area. So what this small piece of urethane does is it focuses the pressure on that single spot. And what you'll do is press it, move it over, press it again, and just work your way down the length of the plate. But first, we wanna tape our metal to our plate. I like using blue painter's tape just because it holds almost the same as masking tape and it's just easier to remove. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my copper, I'm centering it on the design. And I'm gonna tape all of the edges. And what this is going to do is keep the metal from shifting as you press. Now that we have our metal taped to our plate, we're gonna put it on our press. You want to use this magnetic tool steel pusher. What this does is it focuses the pressure onto this small surface area, which we're then going to use to press onto an even smaller surface area. So with this, it just mounts magnetically to the top of the press. You want to make sure that it is perfectly centered, both from the front and back and from side to side. We're gonna start pressing. So what I'm gonna do is place this small little piece of urethane on one end of the design. I like to kind of visually divide the design I'm doing down the center and then divide it into rows this way. That just kind of gives me a guide, a mental guide for where to move the urethane. So I'm gonna center this under the pusher. You want to center the urethane under it every single time. And I'm taking it up to about 1,800, maybe 2,000 pounds. And we'll release it just as much as we need to, to be able to access the urethane. Slide it out. You can see how the urethane has pressed the tape. It's smushed it aside and you can sort of begin to see the halo of the design on the back of the metal. I'm just gonna scoot the urethane over a little bit, put it back under the pusher and press again. So after the second pressing, you can see same thing. You're getting that little tiny shadow of the pattern plate on the back of the metal. And you're just gonna keep repeating this process all the way down the length of the pattern. So as you work, you can see this back edge of the metal is starting to pull up. That's normal as the metal stretches, it's natural for it to curl up. So I'm just gonna take another piece of painter's tape and then just tape it back down. We want to keep it as aligned as possible. We're a little bit past the halfway point, and I just want to check and make sure that I can see the impressions on the back a little shadow to see that I'm getting a complete impression. So it looks like I'm pretty good down here. I'm going to go ahead and add another piece of tape over this end and I'm going to press again right here. It looks like it might not have pressed, might not have gotten all the detail. 
but we want to do everything we can to keep this metal from shifting out of alignment. Put that back in the press and we're just going to keep going until we finish the design. I added more tape as I went along. The key to making sure that your design doesn't get um, out of alignment is to add more tape whenever you need it. If the metal shifts on the design, it will create a double impression. So now we get to unpack our little package. And it looks pretty good. There are a couple places, maybe at these tips, these points right here, that I would maybe have liked to hit a little bit harder. But overall, that is not too bad. Because our pattern plates are very shallow, we are designing them to mimic the look of a hand engraved piece. So the texture is not deep. It's not like other plates on the market. So it's possible to re-register your metal into the design, um, but it's not gonna be very easy. So you wanna make sure that on the back of your metal, you see the impression or the shadow of the pattern show up all over before you undo it because it's it's possible you won't get it lined up correctly. Overall, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this. It'll really pop once I get a patina on it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.